sacrifice me. Alright, YouTubers, we are on to the second set here between STX and SKT T1. This is going to be between July and S2. So, this is going to be a Zerg versus Zerg matchup, which are always fast and fun. Uh, Zerg versus Zerg usually doesn't last too long. And S2, um, a lot of you probably don't know much about S2. Uh, S2 is a relatively new player. His weakest matchup actually is uh, ZVZ, so I think July pretty much has this in a bag as long as he doesn't make a stupid mistake. As long as he doesn't fall asleep, he looks a little bit sleepy. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Zerg vs. Zerg is all about split second decision making because these matches are over 10 minutes tops. I've seen a couple longer ones, but those are so rare. It's all about the Mutilus, Scourge Micro, and Circling Micro. All about Micro. Forget the macro in this, kids. <laughs> this could be played on Chipong Rion, a two-player map. Always fun for ZBZ. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> and... Okay, let's get the positions here. Since this is mirrored matchup, it's good to get the positions and colors early. Up here at the 2 o'clock position in green, we're going to have July. He's up there, so that means down at the 8 o'clock position. And looks like beige. We're going to have S2. See if S2 is able to win this one for his team. I have a feeling uh, STX is going to have a win here, but you never know. I mean, there's some certain luck involved, especially in the micro wars between the Zerglings. I mean, if you're able to run past uh, with your Zerglings into the drone line while the uh, opponent is uh, just microing a little bit to the side and lets you run past, I mean, that's kind of luck. It's a little bit split second decision making skill there, too. And it's actually kind of an honor to be casting all of these Zerg matches because I've only got to cast GG play matches so far. Just uh, interesting. The Zerg have really gotten a shaft in the OSL and MSL. They got kicked out very early in the MSL. I think uh, Yellow was actually the last Zerg player in the... Well, fake Yellow. He was actually the last Zerg player in the MSL, so... Yeah, a lot of people have been saying it's the maps that are the cause of this, but eh, I don't know. I mean, a good player can bypass a map. I mean, like something like Destination where there's not much room to flank. A good player could figure out a way to flank on that map. Jadong is certainly still playing good, although he's been slumping a little bit. Lost an epic game against Firebat Hero. Man, that's such a good game. That's on my favorite list, by the way. All of my favorites that I have favorited on my list. I'm very selective about my favorites. All of them are worth watching, by the way. If you ever see a new favorite pop up on my list, you'll know what's out there. They're all worth watching. And by the way, I just uh, released my look back at a year of Pro StarCraft. Ooh, uh, hatchery going down, never mind, by July here. It's always very, very risky to expand in a ZBZ game. And both players are expanding right now. This is very, very interesting. I think it's because of the sh very small chokes. Uh, in front of the natural expansion, they think they'll be able to protect it with their zerglings that'll be popping up soon. Might be looking at a longer game after all. You usually don't see ZBZ last longer than 10 minutes, but you never know. With uh, the expansions going here, it might last longer than I thought it would. Here comes uh, zerglings up for S2. And S2 has earlier zerglings in July. Um, he might be able to get a lot of damage done here, actually. If July can't get those circlings out fast enough, 
to deal with these circles that are going to be battering his expansion soon enough. You see, Harry comes in, trying to put on the pressure here. He's going to be fended off. July just has more circles right now. And July's not actually not going to be able to get some harassment dump of his own onto the expansion of S2, so July might actually be in a big disadvantage here if he can't get rid of these Zerglings early and push in himself. You see, he is grouping a lot of Zerglings together, though. He definitely wants to keep this hatchery. And S2 is going to be mining from his hatchery soon enough, his expansion. This is very, very interesting. You see the layers probably going down for both players right now. There's a creep colony, so S2 does not want to lose his own base once his zerglings go down, if they go down. I have a feeling since July has a lot more uh, zerglings right now, he's just going to rush in with what he has. 